Hi everyone. This video is a simulation of thyristor control power for single phase induction motor. As you know, we can control the speed of induction motor by varying the voltage applied across induction motor. But this is true for single phase induction motor only. To control the speed of three phase induction motor, we need to control frequency as well as voltage in a constant ratio. But in case of single phase induction motor, we can control the speed by varying the voltage across the induction motor. So single phase induction motor is not available in Protier, but we are using LAMP for demonstration purpose. So here, this is the circuit di diagram of zero class induction circuit. Because we need to control firing angle, both in positive and negative high cycle, we are using the thyrist this thyristor and we are using this up to isolator thyristor driver which is MOC3021. We are using PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. Here PIC16 FA77A microcontroller will read this zero crossing detection with the help of this circuit and which we are reading at RB0 or interrupt pin of PIC16 FA77A. We are using variable resistor to control the firing angle which is given to the thyristor and we are using this 220 volt AC supply here. So let's see how this circuit works. There is one more thing which I need to tell you. When, when you're designing this circuit real times, you need to connect a step down transformer before, uh, before this AC power supply. Because we, knew, we need to step down the voltage from 220 volt AC to 12 volt. After that we can fed this uh, 12 volt to this uh, full bridge rectifier and then to this up to, up to coupler. Okay, now let's run the simulation and see how it works. Click on play. As you can see, here we are getting four waves. This, this wave is uh, for regional power supply. As you can see, we are getting a peak of three, 320 volt, which is a peak of 220 volt RMS. This is basically a voltage output of thyristor or voltage across induction motor. This is waveform of zero crossing and this is the waveform, waveform of uh, firing angle. As you can see firing angle is almost uh, close to 9.5 millisecond. Uh, so that's why we are getting very low voltages at the output. Okay. Uh, okay. So which is average of this voltage is around 5 to 10 volt. Okay. 15 volt. So now let's increase the increase this firing angle and you will see this voltage will increase but when the firing angle becomes equal to 0 millisecond or firing angle become equal to this zero crossing signal you will see this wave this waveform will become equal to this waveform and or you can say comp full voltage will appear across this uh, induction motor so now let's increase the firing angle with the help of this uh, variable resistor and see how this voltage is increasing right now i am increasing uh, firing angle as you can see voltage is also increasing okay and you can see firing angle also becoming closer or or you can say delay angle is also decreasing let's further increase uh, the fire uh, decrease the firing angle as you can see this waveform is getting closer and closer to this waveform okay as you can see now okay now let's increase the uh, decrease the firing angle more okay so this is the full waveform and you can see uh, this uh, firing angle is almost equal equivalent to this uh, zero crossing and we are getting a full voltage across this this uh, induction motor we are using lamp as a demonstration of induction motor and uh, similarly we can decrease the voltage as well as you can see Firing angle is also delaying more and voltage is decreasing. Okay, as you, as you can see, similarly we can uh, increase and decrease the voltage across this this induction motor. And uh, for single phase induction motor, as I have already mentioned, we can easily control the speed by varying the voltage across the induction motor. But this is true only for single phase induction motor. For three phase induction motor, we need to control the ratio of voltage and frequency because uh, in three phase induction motor uh, there is a chances of saturation of a uh, uh, stator 
so we cannot only uh, use voltage to control the speed of induction motor I, will, I have already posted a video on how to control the speed of three phase induction motor so this particular simulation of thyristor control power for single phase induction motor or you can also use it for uh, speed control of single phase induction motor let me show you one more thing let let's connect a uh, ac voltmeter across this load and see how voltage varies as you can see right now we're getting a voltage around 60 but as soon as i increase the uh, i decrease the delay angle or firing angle as you can see voltage is increasing and uh, you will also see the waveform waveform is also getting closer to uh, our original waveform as you can see voltage is also increasing at as you can see voltage is also getting closer to 200 volt okay and as you can see right now we are getting 220 volt and we have a peak of 320 volt here and we have a peak of 320 volt here as well so original and uh, voltage across the induction motor is also same as you can see voltage is also uh, increasing now we can decrease the voltage as you can see voltage is decreasing on uh, ac voltmeter and it's also decreasing on waveform as you can see so similar so, so we can easily use this circuit to control the speed of single phase induction motor thanks for watching this video if you need the code contact me through email address email address is provided in the description of the video thanks for watching this